Hey guys, what's going on? It's Josh. Uh, I'm back here. I know it's been some time, so I apologise. Um, a lot of stuff has been going on, rather than not getting to it. Um, so, yeah, I apologise for being gone for quite a while. Um, but what it is, is as you already know, I have passion for woodworking as well, and I want to leave my channel in a slightly different way. I know I do a lot of the voices, but um, yeah, I want to do some woodworking as well. So what I'm doing today is obviously because I have a love for body modification is, you know, all that stuff. I want to make some stretches. What I'm making mine from is Zebrano, which is a hardwood. Um, big up, thank you Joe for this. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. You can use other hardwoods, um, you know, such as coconut wood. Um, Stuff like that. but there's a lot of woods you can't use so you know those woods um, purple heart for example you can't use wood like that um, so I would read and research a little bit into it see what you can and can't use if you're gonna be using something else you also can use you also can make a flesh tunnel I don't know if I will be or will be not doing so basically what you do is what I've done here with the calipers, I've measured out 38mm, um, well 37 and a half. 1.5mm one for the flares, when you put your flares in, and then obviously your, 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 your final 36mm um, of what your ear is going to be. So, what you do, what I've done here, is your calipers, just a simple um, ruler. Put it on your mark, say you're wanting to make 36mm like I did, then you'll do 18 on each side. So or if you want to make 38, you know, you'll do 19 on each side. So yeah, just put that in there, you do 18, and then, like I've done here, get your hardwood, put it right in the middle. Oh, hands aren't working. And then just go straight round, draw your marks out, like I've done there, and I'll put a pencil mark on that. So we do that too. Um, I'm going to be cutting this out on the bandsaw, so I know you might not have a lot of it, so you can use anything. Um, handsaw, um, anything you want really, because um, I know you might not have a lot of it, so. I'm going to do that one, I'm going to use the band so, but you can use whatever you like, so see you when we get over there. Alright, so I'm just, I'm making sure that this is completely knighted to the table, so you might want to adjust that because it's got to be 90 degrees. Um, I've got my piece of wood marked up now, um, yeah, so what we're doing is we're just cutting around the line, you don't want to cut to the line because not gonna be very not gonna be very round is it? Um yeah, as I said, you can use a coping saw, you can use a hand saw, you can even use files or bloody sandpaper uh, after that. Um persistent enough. Um so yeah I'm gonna get to cutting this out. If you are using banzo put your dust mask on, it kicks out a lot of horrible dust. And your safety spectacles don't take two minutes. So I've just cut that out, yet again, not going too far towards the line, so got that done. What I'm going to use now is a sander, um, yeah, belt sander to go towards my lines. So yet again at this stage, use sandpaper, use files, you just make sure you don't go past that line, so it's not going to be very circular, is it? So yep, yeah, I'll get to that. Alright, so I'm setting up. Well, I've set up this little horizontal grinder. It's not um, the best, but 
you might do with what you've got. I haven't got my grinder yet. Um, so yeah, again, check that it's parallel if you are using this. Check it's completely 90 degrees. Um, I'm using a 40 grit zirconia belt. Zirconia belt. And this is just to get the most of the way stuff. Don't press too hard. Wood goes, you know, goes away way too quick. So just get it right round to the lines. Don't take rest off because I'm going to do rest with a little less heavy of a grip. Um, so yeah, 40 grit I'm using. Just taking a little bit of bulk at waist off. So let's get to it. <laughs> So as you saw then, kept doing it in a rotation motion, just so it does actually go circular. But I haven't gone exactly to my lines, I'm still, you see that. Still a bit away from my lines, but basically what I'm going to do now is put an 120 grit belt on there, so it's not as aggressive, and go straight up to my lines. But you have to make sure you keep rotating it, otherwise it's going to be square, cuboid, bleeding, whatever different shape you want it. So yeah. Got right to lines, pretty much. So I'm going to do rest with, um, I think I'm going to use some 60 grit sandpaper to get to that, and then we'll start filing. So just going to down, so it goes to my 14 mil, and then I'll back with you when I've done all that sanding, and then it'll be time for filing in the um, in the flares. So, got that face done, all looking nice now, all round, all down to my final thickness, which I've done just a little over 14 mil. Um, as we're doing it this way, it's not going to be perfect circular, but you can make it pretty close, like, almost perfect circular. Um, obviously because it's not on a lathe, so, um, but yeah, doesn't mean you still can't make a good plug. And what I'm doing now is... I've got my vise so I'm going to put this in the vise and what we're going to do is we're going to start putting the flares in so I've just got so I've just got normal round file I think it's about what quarter of an inch something like that about six seven mil um, so what you're going to do it's going to be quite awkward. But grab both sides so you so you got it right in the middle, and you just start slowly filing, putting the putting the flares. In. I know it might not look like it's just a curve now, but what we'll do later is we'll put some sandpaper on there, on top of that, and we'll go over it all again. That's when it'll start looking like flares. All we're doing now is denting for the flares. If that makes sense. So. Carry on with this, and uh, I'll get you when we get to the next step. All 
yet again there, like that. Just using your fingers as a guide, so to speak. <laughs> but yeah, just using your fingers as a guide and final it along all the way around. pictures all that just started the um, flares so what we want to do now is just about you know a normal belt um, I'll rip some of that off like that just a small piece you don't need to look big you do put three in between it all um, and just put it over your round pile like that bend it over <laughs> which is a uh, <laughs> so yeah, just bend it over and start filing. Yeah, again, and it's just take time. <laughs> Now I've sanded this side down, what you're going to notice is you've got a thinner side on one side from where you're pushing forward too much. So what we're going to do, because that flares like that, it? you can see that, yep, so that flares small, so what we're going to do now is from this side where it's there, I'm going to turn it around and redo it again, and all that becomes, um, all it becomes uniform. And my hands started killing me, it hurts doing it all over, so drop them up and carry on back with it the other way around. Depend on the size of it, you will have this. So what you ought to do is you just want to get rid of all that. So it's all there. With a bit heavier, a um, bit lighter something, sorry. I've got 120 grit here. It's just all by hand now. So get all that evened out inside here. Make sure you're constantly rotating it though. Sand up, then you want to. There you go, I'm gonna have to put down this on the other shift. Um, keep grinding it over like this just to make all this smooth because you might have high spots on all of these different bits here. Just try and make it as circular as possible, really. a little bit as you can see there so all your flares even all the way around obviously so the a few eye slots 
Obviously be a few eye spots still, but get rid of all them. But it's not half bad. So sand this up and I'll get back to you. Alright. So once you've done all that, these are all the same. It's not a step you have to do, but what I do, yeah again like yours before, making files just with two. I'll be at 120 and then I'll go to 220, I'll just do the same thing, it's just smooth out and heal even. And make sure you actually do properly sanding first, so if that's the step you want to do, then go ahead. Alright yeah, right, guys, so I know this video is nearly dragged and all that, but I just want to get as much in as possible. So this is finished sanding now, so what we're doing is smooth round here, round it all off, there's sandpaper, 220 grip, and we're just going over like that. Just gives that nice polished look to the faces. That flare look that you normally do. Oh yeah, looking good now. Finish all these other sides off. Get that done. them and that's the one I've just done all perfectly round and that now looking quite good so yeah made quite a few um well, not today but yeah simple as that just a bit of elbow grease and some time and you can make them um I want to give another big thank out to Joe Whitaker uh, average Joe's joinery because he's the one that well, made me happy to do a video and me someone to do it so a oh, big big thank you to him go visit his go visit his channel as well he's a good friend and he's a good wood worker as well so he's a good one um contact me if you want anything about these or any made yeah i do do them as well um but i've had, i've enjoyed this so i hope you have enjoyed this hope you've learned how to do it and i hope you get out there and make some so yeah Rate this video, subscribe if you like, and share. Thank you.